Well, in this video, we're going to do something different here. This is my uh, list, my notes, for when I was uh, working on some boats a while back, detailing boats, taking care of a fleet of boats. And I uh, went through, and uh, this is my optimized list on how I kept these boats clean, because guests would like a clean boat. Some of the boat companies were, uh, where we're at are just have dirty boats. They uh, are show wear and tear they just are not well maintained a lot of the boat captains do not care they just show up like uber drivers and go home uh yeah i just always thought take care of these boats and they'll take care of you and that's the way i look at it you know short of doing the maintenance and service on the motors as well that's a whole different video and keeping your outboards and engines up to date maintained uh yeah because you take care of stuff they'll last and you'll always be running and uh, not be sitting in a uh, dry dock or waiting to be serviced, right? Or fixed, right? So let's go through it. Simple, short and sweet, uh, just notes. I'm not gonna show you anything other than just my notes. And uh, maybe it'll help you guys or uh, fine tune what you do or maybe help me fine tune what I do. And this is a snapshot in time from, uh, I think I wrote this February 20th, 2023. So yeah, almost a year ago, wow. Okay, let's jump into it. Wow, time goes quick. All right, boat detailing. Uh, let's move this so you guys can see it. There we go. Uh, let's see, what do I do for the boat? I do a boat wash, obviously. Sometimes I would use acetone to remove the black uh, scuff marks. Uh, basically, when they hit the fuel dock with that black rubber, protector they would leave nice marks along the hull uh, magic erasers also work but again you are removing material it's abrasive magic erasers same with you know acetone works great be careful with it just a little bit on a rag wear gloves and uh, once you uh, take that acetone over the mark you want to reprotect that area because basically it's stripping everything off it's taking the wax off so acetone is gold for quick and dirty sc uh, scuff marks or magic eraser if you want to use a little more elbow grease. But again, you are scratching the surface and you want to re-protect that area. Oh, next in are always the high use items, vinyls, vinyl seats. Yeah, vinyl seats get abused on boats. Uh, what happens is people come on board with, they buy uh, new clothes, which are just stained clothing. They're not, the color of the fabric is not that, they just stain the clothing. And if it gets wet, it destroys vinyl seats. It stains them no matter how much protection you have on the seats. Uh, they will ruin your seats. So, but there are some ways to get them off. And if they're really poorly, badly stained by some fool got on your boat with new clothing, new swimsuits, uh, sun is the best cleanser. Letting it out in the sun for, man, it's going to take a month or so to get that all the way out. Uh, scrubbing and all that stuff is not going to work. Yeah, so I just found sun, direct sunlight. Over time, the UV destroys and gets, uh, gets all that crap out eventually. But for regular wear and tear, dirt, scuff marks, whatever, you can go through, dilute some purple power, get that at Home Depot, and uh, spray it on. Yeah, you want to dilute it. You know, it's a concentrate, 50-50 water, the that, maybe whatever, whatever suits your boat, but you want to dilute it. Uh, with that, you want to spray it, let it soak for a few minutes, don't let it dry. Then I use magic erasers to uh, finish it up. And if you want to get down into threads, you can use a little painter detail brush, a round brush with soft bristles to get the uh, stuff down in there to get the grime out of the threads. Sometimes you get like the green mildew mold under the seats as well, where there's no sunlight hitting it and you want to get in there and get that crap out as well, get that green crap. Uh, it just looks like, it looks bad if you have that on your boat, uh, especially if you're uh, chartering out your boat. Uh, to finish it off, wipe it up, wipe up the magic eraser purple power, you know, rinse it off, dry it, and then with microfiber towels, you come in, bam, you hit it with the, this gold 303 aerospace protectant, add a lot. Most times I'll spray it, and then I'll wipe it very gently just to make sure everything's covered, just let it go, and then come back, spray some more, wipe it up. Just You want to protect that stuff as much as possible because the sun destroys these seats. The sun destroys everything. So yeah, but protect as much as you can. Uh, the first thing to go on vinyl seats is typically, uh, if someone's not staining them, you know, you gotta watch that. 
Um, side note, if people are putting on spray, spray on suntan lotion, don't let them do it on the boat, do it on the dock. Uh, sometimes that will actually stain your seats like a brown streaks. The stuff in the spray tan stuff is horrible. I tell people just cover up. Covering up wearing a hat and, and a UV rash guard uh, shirt or something is better than freaking putting toxic chemicals in your skin. So try to wash that on your boats. Especially if the full spray it on your boat, it makes the boat all slippery. People slip and fall, then you got to deal with that crap. More paperwork, right? Oh, where are we at? So with the 303, you add that, you protect it, and you are good to go. Um, yeah, the first thing to go on seats, other like I said, the staining, are the threading. The threads will go. Uh, they're not the highest quality threads on these seats. They're probably by design. They want your boats to fail, so you keep buying stuff. You ever figure that out? HVACs, refrigerators, everything built today could be built to last forever, but they don't because they'll put businesses out of work, companies out of work. They want things to fail. So that's with seat stitching. It's just crap. So you got to watch, you know, clean the seat stitching. Watch that. What I've done when I notice a tear, this is a, this is a cheap hack. Take some high quality super glue, very thin, not much, and just apply it to the threads. It's a high, if it's a high use boat and you don't want to spend 500 bucks to replace the covers every, every year or whatever, just run some super glue along the threads and it'll keep the tear from happening. Uh, same things you do on car seats. It's basically you're gluing and then you're putting in the bondo to fill in any rips and tears. So for the threads, I just put a light covering of super glue and it just, it's just magic. There's a, why incur a cost on new seats when you don't have to, if it's a high use item. And you can do it so it looks fine. It's not gonna look like crap. All right, let's see. For the deck, non-skid, the non-skid, you rinse the deck. You uh, degrease that crap off the deck. Uh, let's see, I use deck cleaner. I wet the deck. I put on the deck cleaner. You brush it in. This is a secret nobody does. They just freaking put it on and wash it off right away. You uh, first get the grease and crap off, right? Come down. You uh, put on the deck cleaner. You brush it around the deck, and you just let it sit. I let it sit for 10 minutes. Try not to let it dry too much. And then once you let it sit, it's working. It's chemical, man. Make sure you wear shoes too. Don't let that stuff soak into your skin. You'll probably like knock 30 years off your life. Yeah, wait five minutes. Five or so, at least five minutes. Brush it in again. I let it sit. If it's not drying up too much from the sun, uh, then I eventually wash it off. This stuff comes right off the deck. It's amazing how it works. Uh, next, we have Purple Power with Magic Eraser. Any stubborn spots? And then since you used an abrasive deck cleaner, uh, high chemicals, and it used a uh, purple power with eraser, you're pretty much unprotected right now. And uh, you want to come in. And what I do, what really works is this Jeskar power lock. And you can do a buffer if you want. Put it on and add it to the buffer. And then once you do that, let it dry. I think it's about 30 minutes. You let it dry. And then you come back. And then uh, you want to definitely wipe that off because you'll get the powder coating and you wipe that back off come down and after you do that i have uh nautical one water should be uh what is that i'm gonna try to understand my note here nautical one water oh yeah use nautical one right i didn't put a period hold on let's fix that all right use nautical one water should bleed all right one ceramic use one ceramic Car wash and wax. Do entire boat with soft brush and bucket. It's okay to let it dry, then rinse up. Sometimes with the ceramic wash and wax, it's best to just yeah, soap it up. Let it sit on the boat. Let it sit on the deck. Just let it dry because it's just soap. It's gonna actually coat it. You do the soap and you rinse everything off right away. It's not really working. It's washing all your work off. You're washing all the product off. So just let it dry. So right now my quick cleans on boats. I just uh. Soap everything up and let it dry. Because then the soap coats it. You'd rather have soap, soap on your boat than salt and dirt. Yeah. All right. Say protect the deck with nautical one, non skin cleaner. That's the final thing. Uh, you can get that spray as well. That's pretty good. Do the whole deck. Wipe it off. And then wait 20 minutes and redo. All right. Let's see. I finished all this up with the McKee Hydro Blue SiO2. I think that's the uh, ceramic coating. Spray it on. Brush around. Then I rinse that off. You can buy whatever brand. There's, they're probably all built in the same place. And that's just to uh, make the deck protect for future use. All right, for the windows, this is the pain. 
do have hard, hard water spots on the glass, uh, which you can use white vinegar to get that off. You can even use a polish with a buffer and that'll get stubborn water spots off and then eventually wipe that off. And then you can use alcohol to get any residual stuff off. Use uh, isopropyl alcohol to get any of that crap off that's left on the window. And then you can finish up with uh, silicone spray. And what I've been doing too is, where is it at? I've been using this right here, the Jaskar Power Lock. I've been putting that on the windows, man. So when anything hits it, the salt water or anything, it just, it just comes right off. And it uh, makes cleanup really easy as well. Uh, you might have a little haze, but my God, I'd rather get the protection over perfection. You know what I mean? So yeah, I just want to have that protection on the windows. Keep that salt water off the boat. All right. Now for some tools. There's a Makita 9237C. Three uh, polisher. There's a link right there. I can put this below. This is what I got. It's a variable polisher, sander polishing tool. Now it's probably one of the best ones out there for buffing and stuff like that. Uh, there's also a Max Shine M8S. This is a, a polisher used for car detailing, boot detailing. Very nice tool. And I don't have the flex. I didn't get the flex. That was just another option. Uh, but I have the Max Shine and I have the Makita. All right. What is this now? I got some other stuff from a video I watched. Step one, decontamination clean. Smooth, move paint, decor spray. These are all just products. Yeah, for decontamination clean, you can go through this. You can read through this. You're gonna um, use this decor spray, shift soap. This is all specific to a brand. You can use whatever you want. They're all the same. Uh, then pressure wash it off. Water spot remover. I kind of like what I did. You can buy this stuff, but eh, you can use vinegar and buffer. Come right off. Let's see, topside detail. Yeah, this is all from a specific company. I was going through rewatching their video. Basically, um, a lot of stuff. Lots of microfiber. Man, that's the key. Burnout, that's a product. Uh, polish foam pad. These are specific pads to use on your polisher. There's a white 5.5 polish foam pad and Mac Shine. Uh, DA Drake, that's a code. That is the what that is. That's a, another product. Ignore that crap. All right, protection. Uh, let's see. This is all like this uh, ceramic coating and stuff. Protect your seats to protect the work deck, protect uh, fiberglass stuff. Like that. Again, you can get it. The best stuff out there is 3M. I would go to West Marine. 3M has all that stuff. You're going to pay a premium for it. Again, you get what you pay for. So I would go with, uh, right down here, I have it at the bottom. Uh, Perfect It is uh, a 3M product, which is very good. I would get that. Let's, oh, here it is down here. Let's go here. Save time. 3M, they have a quick connect adapter. Use a double sided configuring uh, compounding pad. Here's the part number, uh, the double side polishing pad, and then foam compounding pad in 3M. I would say if you're going to get any, any chemical other than the uh, stuff I like for protecting is the 303 aerospace protectant. That's gold. Love that. And I love the purple power for cleaning. So those two things other than 3M is get these. Boom, boom. Right, purple power, 303 aerospace protectant. And then I would get everything else 3M. You're going to spend money. The uh, 3M perfect. Uh, perfected heavy cutting compound and polish is uh here's the numbers perfected xac compounds by 3m it's called perfected you're going to spend 70 bucks or so it's, it's worth it it's worth every penny it's going to last you and it's quality crap uh let's see mcguire's just so you know is owned by 3m they have a flagship premium wax and there's a uh, also a pro polish out there sure hold if you don't want to use 3m or you can use 3m's liquid wax with Scotch Guard. Uh, again, just go just go to West Marine, stare at the 3M products, and look at each one. Uh, 3M, you can't go wrong. With 3M EXAC, I like a foam compounding pad. Buy 3M again. Again, get the stuff that's your, get the quality crap. Again, you're working on a high end product, expensive boats. Boats are expensive. Use high end product to take care of them. Uh, let's see, 05737. It's discontinued, but awesome. And there's a newer version, 05723. Uh, yeah, anyway, here's some steps I do. Hope this helps, gives you an idea of what products 
I found 3M is the best. Uh, the deck stuff is gold. Cleaning with the deck is, again, if you're using a deck cleaner from West Marine, let it sit. Let it, let it sit there. Let it do its work for at least five minutes or more. Most people don't. They're in a hurry. They just wash it right up. And if you're doing just the basic soaping after the trip, just get the soap, you know, spray off the dirt, spray off the crap, get the soap on there, just let it sit and let the soap dry on it, even on the outboard, on the cowling. Uh, short of that, for the outboards and the boat in general, if you want to do it before you soap or whatever, if you want to stagger it, you can use the uh, uh, salt away. And West Marines ha has their own uh, desalt stuff as well. And with the salt away, you can just, uh, they give you a little, uh, adapter and you can uh flush your motor after each use or flush it once a week for like 30 seconds a minute flush out that crap in your outboard they have an adapter hose on most outboards and just get that salt out and then once you're done flushing is take that adapter it's like a little can can canister attached to the end of the hose and you spray down the boat it foams up a little bit and it just coats the boat with you know, first it gets the salt off and then it adds a coating to it. You don't want to rinse off any of the salt away stuff, any salt, desalt product. You let it stick on the boat and uh, almost has a little protective. So that's another tip I recommend once a week on your boats. Uh, if you're not just on regular flushing, which you should on salt water. So after each trip, run it for a couple minutes, hook the hose up to the flush connector and flush out those motors just with regular water. It helps cool down the inside as well because you're running in through water. If you're on a hot ocean water, especially in the summer, and then uh, once a week, run the salt away through your outboards and then spray down your boats with salt away. Then you can stagger that with uh, whenever you do your regular monthly or every semi-monthly detailing on the boat, probably every few months, depending how bad and gnarly the boats get. Sometimes when you pull the boats out for service, they park them under trees and you get lots of tree crap and needles and uh, pine needles and just crap all over the boat and dirt. And uh, you got to really get into another deep clean. So just a note on that. If you're ever doing servicing on a boat, you're going to have to factor in some time for cleaning the boat to get it ready uh, for the next round of runs, right? And most shops, if you are taking to another shop, will kind of clean the boat for you. It's part of the service. But if you're doing it yourself, it's just going to get dirty, grease, working on the outboard. Yeah, factor in polishing the outboard cowling as well. Just keep it clean. People like a clean boat, and it helps take care of stuff. Anyway, that's all I got. I had my notes here. I thought it'd be used to share to people a whole different twist on things on this channel. But again, it may be of help evergreen information on how, uh, how I basically take care of it. Keep it simple. You can use common wholesale stuff, but good for the win is the 3M and then getting the, uh, getting the right tools, the Makita and the, um, like a polisher, like a Max Shiner effects. Uh, yeah, not too expensive. Uh, and yeah, it's all good. All right. I'm out. Hope this helps. Take care. Boom.